Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I am channeling again my mermaid vibes, but actually I think I look like more Grace Kelly or Marilyn Monroe vibes today. Um, I don't know if mermaids have short hair. Um, and I am going to just share with you the Jouer summer collection and it was mermaid inspired, mermaid themed. Um, you may have seen it all over Instagram if you follow Christina Zilber on Snapchat. They had an amazing day of photo shoot, um, of a mermaid photo shoot at her house and it had her daughter, herself, a you know, amazing uh, popular YouTubers there, and they all kind of got their mermaid on, and it was, I was so jealous. <laughs> but anyway, I decided to go ahead and um, I bought part of the collection. I, I wish I got the entire collection for you guys. I'm sorry, I am just not made of money. Um, maybe one of these days, Jue will put me on there list and I can get um, like an affiliate code with them and product to preview for you guys. That would be great. Um, right, Shue? Uh, anyway, okay, so uh, let's talk about my eyes. Um, this is actually all four of the shadows from the eyeshadow collection. They sell these shadows as a set. Um, even the packaging is really pretty. It's like this iridescent, mermaidy, love it. Um, so this is limited edition. It's iridescent eyeshadow palette and there's four colors in here. I want to say it's $38. Um, Jouer products are always high quality, amazing. You guys know I love Jouer. I featured them here before. Um, they have their La Match box, which actually has been delayed for summer, and it's coming out later. So um, feel free, you know, definitely check out their website, uh, sign up for that. So when it does come out, you can be part of it because they always sell out individually. Okay, so I'll take you through the shades. The dark one is Dreamer, and this right here, oh, something else if you don't know about Jouer. They're like Legos. They're like makeup Legos. <laughs> you can snap them together um, and you can create your own set. So all the compacts, even the lipsticks, all have these little grooves in them that you can, you know, slide together. So you can, if you're traveling and you want your bronzer and your blush and your powder and your concealer and your lipstick, and you can kind of create your own little, little connect thing. Um, and it's really cool. So this came together, but then you can break them apart and hang on to them separately if you want. So Dreamer is, and they all, all the compacts have mirrors. Um, Dreamer is this incredible duochrome green, blue with like flecks of, you know, red. Well, I guess I should say purple and pink. And that is what I'm wearing on my crease. What I did like about these shadows is that there is not a lot of fallout considering how sparkly and intense they are. They didn't, I didn't get, I had put on my foundation and my powder and then I went in and did my eyes and I'm thinking this was stupid. Uh, but actually it wasn't that bad. I didn't get like a whole ton of sparkly glitter fallout all over my face. And that actually surprised me. I really expected for that to happen. The next one, is called Splash and actually I looked at this and I thought oh, I don't know if I really care for a frosty blue I think this one's my favorite oh crap I just gouged it oh, I hate when that happens <laughs> let's all take a moment for the gouged perfect powder palette product okay so here is the blue, and I'm actually wearing this on the center of my eye. It is ice blue. I mean, we're talking, it's icy blue. So this also looks really pretty on the lower lash line, and it has, this is a straightforward, you know, just kind of your soft, pretty um, ice blue color. And the pink shade is called Pink Pearl. 
And this, I'm actually, you cannot see it because I put it on my lower lash line and then I proceeded to go in with my Jouer eye crayon in black and I covered it up. So, but this is just classic. I mean, it's kind of a bubblegum soft pink, but then it really, oh God, it goes on so smooth. It goes in this soft sheen. I mean, you've probably seen these swatches before, but it's just nice to feel them. I didn't show you that like that. Almost looks like a little bit lilac, or I don't know. Um, I don't know, whatever, right? Okay, and the last one, which is a white. I'm gonna shut these, you guys, because it's, you know, I'm a spaz. I'm gonna hurt something. Um, this is coconut, and it is your frosty, frosty white. I am wearing it on the very inside of my lid. I really like this one. If you wanted to, you could wear this as a highlighter. I mean, if you really wanted to go for that ice, icy cool highlight look. So speaking of highlighters, they do have a highlighter set. Just, um, and those are really, really pretty, what I've seen of them. I was really interested in getting them and I just didn't, but I probably should. I'm really glad they came out with new highlighters because um, for me, this is their Glisten Brightening Powder and I am wearing it today and it's the most subtle glow. It is such a subtle glow. It has a few flecks of glitter in it, but for the most part, it is just soft. So it's not like this strobing highlight thing we're all freaking out about with, you know, Champagne Pop and Jeffree Star and stuff like that. So if you want just a soft highlight, this Glisten powder is probably the way to go for you. Um, so for me today, I felt it was good because I really feel like I'm kind of shiny, kind of glam, kind of, you know, if I wore a whole bunch of highlighter as well, I'd probably, you know, I'd get a few double takes at Target and maybe not in a good way. Um, okay, so let's talk about lips. It is probably showing up different to you on camera. Maybe not, but I'm wearing watermelon and this is their kind of a warmer pink red. So you guys know how much I love the phrase bonbon. Did I say that right? Um, and that was their very first launch of their liquid lips and oh my gosh their liquid lips are dreamy I have um, praised them before so this is a watermelon and it's just a very it's kind of a coral red I mean it really does it is red but it has like a pink undertone with yellow in it uh, phrase bonbon is a blue undertone um, and I, I love this for summer. Um, I am a cool undertone, so the Frizz Bonbon is like more my shade, but pff, who cares? Okay, so the watermelon on its own is beautiful. And I almost, I was a fool. I thought, oh, I'll just put this on and then I'll show you guys the lip topper on camera, but I couldn't wait, I had to put it on. And that is the Skinny Dip. And I have to say, and I've seen Christina on her Snapchat using this, and I was like, lady, enough with the skinny dip. <laughs> but now I see why she's addicted to it. This is pretty much a product unlike any other product out there. This is not just a lip gloss, okay? This is not just like a shiny lip gloss, you know, topper that you add. And this is not a liquid matte lip either. This is a lip topper. And what's so, I, I don't even know if I can show you how amazing it is, but if you look, you can see how gold, it's like gold. It is so opaque. So I have a little bit, I have a little bit of um, watermelon. Do you see that? It is so opaque. It is sits on top as like gold lame. It is gold on your lips. It is so awesome. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so me here, I'll give you like, so what I did is I put it on and then I spread it out because um, it can be really intense, see? Look, oh my God, these taste. Do you see that? It is like, I mean, if you got strobing on your lips, this is it. And so this is limited edition as well, but I think if we all create a clamor, I think if we all like just bang on her door and just, you know, shout to Jouet, this needs to be permanent because this is not just for summer. This is for holiday. This is, this is for all the time. This is red carpet. This is amazing. I haven't worn it by itself and I haven't worn it over like a regular lipstick or with like another pale shade. I think it will be so pretty over like a nude uh, lipstick. So I'm really kind of looking forward to doing that. And um, hi, thumbs up if you think I over lined my lips today. But oh well. Um, okay, so those are the products that I purchased of the Jouer Summer Collection. There is also a very beautiful shimmering body lotion to kind of give you that glow. And like I said, there's the highlighters. And there are other uh, longwear lip shades, um, really, really pretty. So um, if you want to go check those out, of course, get on their website. I understand this isn't for everyone. You kind of might look at this palette and go, no, I don't think so. I think I'm going to pass. And I get that because, you know, these are some strong shades and textures that you're working with. Um, if you want to give that trend a try, excellent quality and, you know, fun. Um, and also, like I said, I think these are going to be really good. This shade right here for winter for a smoky eye. Yeah. Um, and if you just feel like, you know, playing with like one or two things, maybe there's the skinny dip lip topper. Like I said, this is a must have. I really think if you love makeup, if you love a shiny, sparkly lip, you need this in your life. So, okay. And it's not drying. It's like, it's so nice. Like I can feel it on top of the matte lip, but it's not gooey or anything like that. It's just really comfortable as I talk with my hands. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I will, I've already given you like a mermaid tutorial. So I kind of wanted to, didn't, so I didn't want to do it again and be redundant. Um, check that tutorial out if you want to see sort of how I do the smoky blues and the pops of blue and green on my eyes. I'll link it below. Um, and of course, I'm just, I'm probably going to be using some of these products in some future looks as well. And you'll see them in action. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you subscribe and click like. And I will see you next time. Bye.